So today I'm in the historic little town of Round Top, Texas. This area was first settled in 1826 and served as the residence for some very important people in early Texas history. The Townsend family came in 1826 and had multiple members at the Battle of San Jacinto. Joel Robinson, another resident, was one of the people that helped capture Santa Ana after this battle. The earliest settlers here were primarily English, but in the 1840s, many Germans began to arrive in the area and began to dominate the local culture. A man named Alwyn Sorgel lived here and built an octagonal tower, which is how Roundtop got its name. Though this town is small in size, it is an important cultural center and is one of the antique capitals of Texas. And so today we're going to explore Roundtop and some other interesting communities in northern Fayette County. This is one of those counties that are just bursting with interesting historical sites. I featured the southern part of this county in a video I called The Birth of Czech Texas. So right next door to Royer's Pie Haven is a historical marker for Bernard Scherer. He was from Switzerland and came to Texas in 1833. He was one of the first to live in Beagle, the second German settlement established in Texas. He served in both the Texas Revolution and the Civil War. He was a good friend of Friedrich Ernst, the first German to bring his family to Texas. He was appointed Justice of the Peace by Sam Houston and served in various offices in Fayette County over the years. This gorgeous stone building here is the historic Vanka House built in 1863. So the building you see here, I wrote Remains of Moore's Fort, built in 1831. This is the oldest structure in Fayette County. So this is the historic Bethlehem Lutheran Church, dedicated in 1866. Just outside town is the stunning Bell of Round Top Bed and Breakfast. What a gorgeous historic home. Just to the north of Round Top, a couple of miles, is something very stunning that you've just got to see the old Edith Bates Chapel. So the back side of this chapel is incredible. What an incredible place. Perfect for a wedding. When you get good and hungry, be sure to stop at Royer's Round Top Cafe. Great food and some of the best pie in all of Texas. So just outside Round Top is a historic little community called Winedale. 
and there are tours available. There's a large area just across the road from here where there are some historic homes and old structures. So check the website for details. So you see a couple of old chimneys there off in the distance. And it's my understanding that further back is an old two-story home that you can see. So just a short distance further up the road here, you see a couple of historic homes. I can see the sign there. It says, that is the Wagner House. Looks pretty impressive. So now I'm a few miles up the road from Round Top in the community of Warrington. And this is St. Martin's Catholic Church, the world's smallest active Catholic church. So I'm standing right here at the front door. This is the cutest little church I've ever seen. So Warrington kind of feels like an extension of Round Top. I can tell right now they're preparing for a large festival. There are tents set up all throughout this little town. So here we have Zab Hall, one of multiple scattered across Fayette County. Just a little further off the beaten path is the tiny little town of Winchester here in the northwestern extreme of the county. And should you come through town, consider stopping here at Murphy Steakhouse. It's inside this beautiful historic building. At the edge of town is the historic Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church. So this church served freed slaves shortly after the Civil War. So last but not least, I'm in the charming historic town of Fayetteville, right on the town square. And this courthouse was built in 1880. So the lady at the Fayetteville Heritage Museum was kind enough to let me inside this old historic courthouse. And there's even a jail upstairs. So I've got to go up. The two jail cells right here. Nice and cozy. So you can actually see the clock pendulum swinging back and forth up there. Pretty cool, this was an unexpected little surprise. All around the town square are nice looking historic buildings. This one appears to have been constructed in 1900. This is called the Zap Building, now operates as the Grand Fayette Hotel. It looks like there are multiple options for dining here around the town square. Fayetteville comes across as the type of town we all wish we could live in. Small town, beautiful historic homes scattered all throughout. Family owned businesses. This cute little building is known as the Spacek House. It was built in the late 1800s. Also right here on the square is the 1890 Sarazen store opened by two German brothers. Now let's check out the Fayetteville Area Heritage Museum. So if you've watched a lot of my previous videos, you know that many people of German and Czech origin settled all across Fayette County and, and in this part of Texas. As we all know, things have changed in small towns over the years. And this was the last new car ever sold in the town of Fayetteville, 1965 Chevrolet. 
So in 1892, there was a fire on the town square and this was the fire truck they used to put it out. A local gentleman built these model trains completely out of wood. So this old Victrola used to be in the saloon on the town square. If you've ever had the chance to hear one of these things, you know they sound amazing.